everyone it is tuesday and i'm sorry that i look like this um jet lag hit me yesterday and i can't sleep and i just generally don't feel good so i dragged myself out of bed this morning and rolled to work looking like this but i finished work now and i just felt like doing some christmas shopping um and I'm also hosting a little Christmas get together on the 7th of December with some of my best friends and a couple of my bridesmaids and stuff. And um, I want to get a few Christmassy decor bits for that. Um, but yeah, so I just thought you might want to come with me and see some of the Christmassy things that are in the shops and have a mooch with me. Hopefully I'll be able to film some stuff. I do tend to freeze up and get really embarrassed vlogging in public, but we'll see. Wish me luck. Okay, it's now coming up to half three. I'm home and I've pretty much done all of my Christmas shopping and fallen into the trap of buying myself a bunch of Christmas stuff as well. I can't help myself, um, but I feel good because I've pretty much done all my Christmas shopping. Just a few little extra bits to get closer to the time. Um, and yeah, I'm like done. So that's really good. Um, and I can't show you everything that I bought, but I can show you a few bits. This is the table runner that I was talking about. It's quite long. So it might end up being far too big, but it was six pounds tartan. So it matches all my Christmas stuff and I just really wanted it. So I picked that up from Primark. I got a couple of lint Santas and some uh, chocolates to go in with people's presents. So I got a couple each of those. This is just a little something that I spotted in Wilkinson's and I'm going to give it to my mum when I next see her. But it's two little otters holding paws like they do. And my dad's favourite animal is an otter, so I thought that that was really cute and that she might like that for her tree. As much as I love wrapping presents, vouchers are definitely one of the easiest gifts to buy. So I picked up a voucher for somebody. 
Then I went to TK Maxx and this is where I started getting drawn into um, Christmassy stuff for myself. So I got this cushion. It says naughty on one side and again it's in that tartan that I have lots of Christmas stuff in. It's got a pom-pom on each corner. And on the other side it says nice. And that's probably the way that I would display it because I just love that tartan. Um, and that was 14 99 which is a lot more than I'd normally spend on a cushion because I'm a cheapskate, but I just really liked it. Um, and then I picked up two jars because I always have a hot chocolate station at Christmas and I thought these might be quite cute for that, although they're quite large. Um, but I got this one which was 3 99 and it says Dashend Through the Snow, obviously I had to have it. And then this one has got little gonks on it and I'm obsessed with them um, and it was 4 99 I believe. Let's see. Yeah, 4 99 So I thought, you know, eight, um, nine pounds, sorry, for both of those jars really isn't bad at all. Then I went to B&M and it just all started getting out of hand. I picked up this sign that says it's the most wonderful time of the year, which is one of my most favourite Christmas songs and I thought it was beautiful and it lights up. I just need to pop some batteries in it. I got some peppermint candy canes for a pound because again I always have candy canes at my little hot chocolate station. I got three sets of these lights because I'm going to wash and organise my dresser and I'm going to put beautiful lights all on it. Um, so yeah, I picked up three sets of those. I got some cheap Panasonic batteries for the lights. And lastly, in this bag, I picked up some slippers to go with Will's Christmas present for five pounds because he is a slipper and dressing gown kind of guy. I'm not gonna wrap any of it yet though because that is one of my fun Christmassy activities that I like to do while watching a Christmas film with a hot chocolate in December. So I'm just gonna pop it all into its bags and hide it all in the wardrobe. Hello everyone, sorry for the random angle, Archie jumped on my lap and I can't get up to get my normal um, little stand that I balance my phone on when I want to film this dog honestly. I've just got home from work, it's Thursday and I got a McDonald's on the way home from work because it has just been one of those weeks guys. I'm, I'm not having a terrible week, lots of people I know and care about are having a terrible week and the knowledge of that and worrying about everyone else is weighing very heavily on me. So I'm really not feeling great either. Um, physically, I'm feeling really rubbish, um, but I don't want to be too much of a negative Nancy, which is why I didn't film yesterday because I just, I don't like pretending that everything's fine when it's not and everything's just not fine. <laughs> um, so um, I just didn't film. Anyway, some positive news. Last night, my middle brother, Ryan, uh, proposed to his girlfriend, Ella. They've been together the same amount of time that Will and I have been together. Um, and Ryan proposed last night, so they are now engaged. I don't know when they're gonna get married because Ryan still lives with my parents and Ella still lives with her parents. So I don't know when they'll actually get married, but they are engaged um, and Ella's actually one of my bridesmaids. So that's cute that they are officially engaged as well. Um, any other positive news? You need to get your head out of the way. <laughs> um, I finished my 2018 scrapbook last night, so I'm gonna film a proper flip through of that. And I'll give you a little sneak peek in a minute. Um, and I'm gonna start my 2019 scrapbook and try and get going with that. So yeah, it's been a week guys. I just, I really just want this week to be over. I just want it to be Christmas. I just want it to be Christmas. <laughs> I've just made a cup of tea and put my dressing gown on and um, put the heating on because it's freezing. But I wanted to show you that the lights I got in B&M the other day, I put them on my dresser and I think they look so cute. Do you like them, Archie? I think they're really pretty. I've also got a candle burning and I also haven't put away this little sign that I got in B&M that I showed you the other day as well because um, we don't have anywhere to put it and I figured there's not a lot of point in packing it away for three weeks and then getting it out so you know my first little taste of Christmas and I said I'd give you a little sneak peek of my 2018 scrapbook album so here we go here is some of it 
Um, there's some pretty extensive journaling I want to do. That's just covering up a child. It's not normally there. There is some pretty like extensive journaling that I want to do regarding like everything that happened last year with my mum. So what I did, this was all finished um, quite a while ago. And then this is where I started about a month ago or whenever it was that I ordered all of my photos. So from here onwards is all new. Um, so I didn't have a lot of time for journaling because I wanted to just get this done and move on to 2019 and move on to December daily. So this spread here is the week um, in which my mum was diagnosed with breast cancer last year. And obviously that was an absolutely horrendous time in my life. But if you look at this scrapbook page, you just wouldn't know that any of that had happened. And obviously as hard as it was and still is to deal with everything that happened, I want it documented because it was a massive story, a massive part of my life. So I sort of touched on it a little bit here, but I really want to actually have like an A4 page of journaling about everything that happened during that time and how I felt about it and how we dealt with it as a family. Um, so in between these two six by 12 inserts, I'm gonna have that journaling there. I think anyway um, and then the same I'm going to I need to stop flicking all the way through this because otherwise there'll be no point in you watching my flip through um, so hang on so I want to do the same thing in December as well so again like if you just looked at these pages you'd be like oh they had a lovely Christmas by the way I hate these pages I'm really not happy with them at all but they're done and done is better than perfect um but yeah you would think that it, this was all just fine and we had a lovely christmas and we did have a good christmas but lots of stuff happened uh, my little brother was very very sick in hospital was diagnosed with addison's disease and it was absolutely awful and my mum was undergoing radiotherapy and it was just a really hard time so again after this six by eight photo here I want to have another like A4 page of journaling, literally just typed journaling, talking about everything that happened and again, like how we dealt with it all. So yeah, that's a little sneak of 2018's album anyway, and you will see the rest in a dedicated flip through, which I'm hoping to film this afternoon, but I'm waiting for my camera to charge and it normally takes a while. So we'll see how it goes. An Emma Bridgewater parcel just arrived. I wasn't expecting it today. But um, it's a personalised order and it's some Christmas pieces so I really hope they're okay. They're boxed which is nice, hopefully that means that they are safe in here. So I got a plate, I think this is my first personalised plate. I can already see that it's covered in pin pricks but they don't bother me so much. Oh, it's got a big, sharp piece of glaze on there, though, which is slightly annoying.
Hello everyone, it's Sunday and I'm just home from a sausage dog walk as you saw. So I'm having a cup of tea in my sausage dog mug. I know I've looked exactly the same and had my hair exactly the same pretty much every clip you've seen this week, but I just couldn't be bothered to wash my hair being totally honest with you. Um, but once we've done the food shop in a bit, I'm going to have a lovely bath and pamper evening because what else are Sundays for? Um, but yeah, I had a lovely time at the sausage walk this morning. Um, I was pretty much just sort of chilling, walking around on my own. I just went to let Archie socialise and run off with other dogs because he loves going to the sausage walks. And we haven't been for ages because life's just been a bit crazy. Um, but I decided, yesterday I decided to go and um, they had a great time, so that's nice. And it's nice that it's something organised locally as well. Like I, I think I mentioned earlier in the week, I haven't really filmed much this week because it's just been a real week like it's not been a good week at all in a lot of ways and then we've had some really good news as well which just means that my whole like brain just does not know what to do with itself at the moment and I don't know how to react to anything and it's just a really strange place to be in um I can't remember if I mentioned or not that my work have offered me extra hours starting in January which is really good it's essentially a whole extra week's pay every month so that's brilliant It'll really help with the wedding um and yeah, that was like the other bit of good news that I had this week other than my brother getting engaged. But yeah, I'm tired. It's Sunday, I'm relaxing now. I've taken the dogs out and hopefully I'll be able to film more in the coming days and I'll put these two vlogs together um, because today I'm uploading a Project Life album flip through. Uh, so hopefully you guys can go and watch that. I'll put it in the description and I'll just go back to weekly vlogs next week everyone i've just got home from work and it is what day is it tuesday and i got changed into my velour mickey spirit jersey that i picked up in new york um didn't wear it to work don't worry i've just got changed into it i was meant to be going on a lovely walk with one of my um original my og dog blogging and instagram friends uh amy and her lovely dog tilly this afternoon but i left work and it was pouring with rain and there's no way that winnie is going to walk in this archie doesn't mind it too much but to be totally honest with you I didn't want to drive 40 minutes to go on a walk that Winnie will hate and I will have to drag her along the whole way. And I only bathed them and washed all their stuff on Sunday, which was literally like not even 48 hours ago that I did that. And I just thought I can't do all of that to get again right now. I've got so much to do today. Um, if it had been dry, I would have gone straight out there. But with it pouring down with rain, I just can't. Uh, so we've rescheduled for the same time next week. So hopefully it will be a drier day. Um, what else do I need to do today? I need to do loads of stuff around the house. So even though I'm disappointed that we haven't been able to go on the walk, it is more convenient for me really because I have so much to do today anyway around the house. The washing, I really need to catch up with the washing. Clean washing needs putting away. The dishwasher needs doing. Um, I need to hoover and clean the kitchen and like the place is just a mess basically. Um, I've got all that stuff there that needs to be posted out because I've sold some of my Emma Bridgewater. Um, and I just received my Christmassy, my November Lollipop, Lollipop Box Club kit. So I thought I would show you it quickly. So the November kit is called Merry and Bright and I can't show you the whole thing. I can only show um, sneaks at this point, but I just wanted to show you a few bits. So this is the card this month. It's not what's under the tree that matters. It's who's gathered around it. That's very true. That is cute. Aww. So this month they are um, collabing with Bramble Fox who make these beautiful acrylic pieces. And so Lisa has sent me this extra bit from Bramble Fox that is so nice. It's this beautiful glittery December. That is gonna be perfect for my December daily. Oh my goodness. How beautiful is that? Oh, that is so kind. Thank you so much, Lisa. Um, so yeah, this kit is called Merry and Bright. There's a little postcard there, and then we've got green paper. And it's wrapped in this gorgeous gold tissue paper as well. So here's the little creative zine. It says, hello, welcome to our festive kit. We have so much going on this month, it's jam packed. We have the limited edition countdown to Christmas kit going out. There's also a video series to go with them. We are hosting fun challenges and swaps in our Lollipop chat group on Facebook. You will also find festive DIYs and videos on our YouTube channel over the next few weeks. Don't miss out, Lisa. So I won't show you the whole thing because again, I don't want to give too much away. But here 
is a little sneaky peek. So there's the Bramble Fox acrylic that everyone will receive. It's back to front, but it says memories and it's red. There's the, I think that's the DIY pack. The Lolly, of course. This gorgeous charm, which is like a Christmas light. So sweet. Some chevron washi. Yeah, I'm just giving you this little sneaky peek. There's the die cuts. Oh, it looks so nice. And there's a gold gel pen as well. Fancy. So like I've said before, I am on Lisa's creative team. So I do get sent these kits for free at the moment um, in exchange for creating projects for the blog. Um, but I just like sharing them anyway. There's no obligation to share them in videos at all. Lisa has never asked me to share them in videos, um, but I'll mark it as an ad just in case anyway, because obviously I do receive them for free. Um, but I just love these kits. It's such a little dose of happiness through the door every month. And I received one of Lisa's first ever kits and they have just changed and grown and adapted so much in the last couple of years it's amazing like i just feel that they are so versatile now and can be used for so many different crafts and they're lovely so i really can't wait to get stuck into that one we all know that i am buddy the elf hello everyone it's thursday i've just got home from work and i had an emma bridgewater parcel waiting for me so i thought i would show you what i got um i forgot to update you actually the parcel that i opened last week that i was really disappointed with um, I emailed customer services and they agreed that it wasn't acceptable and um, they are replacing that for me but I had already placed a second personalised order which I was then dreading because I just thought what if everything is wrong with that order as well um, and it's arrived today and thankfully other than kind of ropey writing there isn't anything wrong with them that I can see so that's really nice so I thought I would show them to you. So like I said, I'm not massively keen on the, this particular um, writing style. I think the L's are a little bit weird. I don't know, not a massive fan, but I think it's fine. And at least the writing's not really wishy-washy. So um, this is the I Believe mug, because of course I believe in Santa. And then I also got one with deck the halls on it. They actually look a lot nicer on camera than they do in person, honestly. Um, the writing looks a lot darker on camera than it does in person. But this pattern is called Bring in the Green and it's new for this year. And I just thought it was really nice. It's a bit different, but it still matches the rest of my Christmas stuff. So I've got some more Christmas mugs for when my friends come round at Christmas. And this deck the halls mug, I will definitely use um when I'm putting up the Christmas tree and everything. I almost decided to come home and put up my little mini Christmas tree in my office today because I just need some festive spirit. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna wait a little bit longer because I should. But why should I? Do you know, that's something that um, somebody put on Instagram the other day. They, they put up their tree and they said, I never understand why people get so angry when you put your decorations up early. Like, what is it to do with them? And that's so true. Like if I put up my tree, so many people would have a go at me, but why? What difference does it make to anyone else if my decorations are up? Why should I feel like I can't do what I want in my own house because other people would be annoyed? It's weird, isn't it? Um, but I am gonna try and wait for the end of the month. But yeah, I've got lots to do today, so I need to crack on. Um, and my hours are changing at work maybe sooner than I thought. So I need to try and get lots of stuff done in advance because uh, I won't have as much time over the next couple of weeks or in general anymore because I'm going to be working quite a few more hours. So yeah, I need to crack on. Excuse the hair all being <laughs> pulled back. Oh my gosh, and my voice going. But I've just been making some lunch and I wanted my hair out of my face. Um, but Will and I have a bed, finally. It's been so long, we have a bed. I can't wait to actually sleep in a bed tonight. Um, Will's off work this week, so he was able to take the delivery of the bed. It's only from Ikea, but it'll do and put it up this afternoon and then when I came from work home from work I've just helped him move it into the right place 
Um, I know I haven't been filming very much and I've just jumped straight into a whole new week um, <laughs> and a whole new um, topic without really explaining anything. But honestly, the last couple of weeks, I've just not really felt myself. And instead of just moaning every day or having it be obvious to you guys that I'm not feeling good, I decided to just not film at all. So um, yeah, but I'm back this week and hopefully um, I'll be able to film a little bit more and be a bit more upbeat. Um, yeah, we have a bed. I'm about to go and meet my friend for a walk. Um, it's quite a drive away from me. So like being totally honest, I could do without the long drive, but I really want to see my friend and her dog and take the dogs for a walk. So um, I'm going to go and Will's gone to visit um, his sister-in-law quickly to pick up a Nintendo Wii that he's getting from her. Um, but yeah, let's go. I'd just like to quickly point out as well, this is the replacement to that original faulty Emma Bridgewater order that I got the other week. It's the, the replacement has arrived today and it's just as bad as the one before, if not worse, because it's got a big chip on the bottom of the plate. So you guys know how much I love Emma Bridgewater, but I'm always totally honest with you. And honestly, guys, at the moment, I'm debating not ordering again. <laughs> I mean, this is me we're talking about and I'm an obsessive collector, so will I order again? Probably, but I mean, I'm considering it and I'm really hoping that they give me a refund. Even if I have to send all the stuff back, that's fine. I just want my money back now because it was meant to be two really special pieces. One of them was to celebrate my last Christmas as a miss because Christmas is really important to me and I'm milking the wedding <laughs> for all it's worth. Um, and the other one was meant to be like an heirloom piece. So it's like a plate with treats on it and it matches my Santa mug. And I wanted to have it as the plate that my kids put like milk and cookies out for Santa, you know, in the next five, 10 years. So both of them were really special pieces and they've both come rubbish. So I'm hoping they give me a refund. <laughs> I've got a bed, I've got a bed. <laughs> I've also got a hat on because I'm going on this walk. Um, but I'm so excited to have this bed. It's gonna be so nice. The next thing to replace are the bedside tables because we want to get some white ones and we need a chest of drawers as well but I don't know when we'll get around to replacing those things but for now it's exciting to just have a bed. Guys, anyone else who has been in the same position will understand how I feel like we have a nice mattress so it's not like we've been sleeping like fully on the floor for over a year but it's so nice to have a bed. <laughs> Obviously we need to put the actual bedding on it and we'll, we'll change the bedding. Um, while we're at it, but yeah. Hello everyone, excuse the no makeup face and all the mess in the background. We've been sorting some stuff out for the charity shop and I washed all of our bedding and everything yesterday. Um, it's Sunday morning, I have a pint of tea in my new mug, Emma Bridgewater, replaced the mug for me. I don't know if you can see it, but it says last Xmas as a miss. I'm milking this wedding for all it's worth, guys. Um, but I just wanted to apologize because I said I would film this week and I didn't. Uh, the last time you saw me I think was Tuesday and I had a really nice walk with my friend Amy. The dogs were on their best behaviour until right at the very end when they showed me up when we sat in a cafe but should have known that would happen because it's one of their triggers so I need to be better prepared but had a really nice time catching up with Amy and her little poodle Tilly. Um, then Wednesday my mum and I went dress shopping after work and I found my wedding dress. It was such a wonderful experience. I'm so glad that I didn't give up and we went to a different place and it was just so nice. And I found my dress and I can't believe it. Um, so I'll pop in some footage now of a different dress that I tried on. This is not the wedding dress. I will not be sharing my dress until the day of the wedding. I'm putting together a whole video about finding my wedding dress. Um, so this is just a dress that was in the sale that I decided to try on while I was there, but it wasn't right. It didn't look right on me at all, um, but I just wanted to have some footage other than me in my dressing gown in this segment. Um, and then Thursday, Will and I went to give a notice of marriage in the afternoon. You have to do that when you're getting married in the UK. I don't know about elsewhere, um, which was interesting to say the least, <laughs> but it was another big thing to tick off for the wedding. And then Friday, we went out for dinner to celebrate our engagement with my brother and his fiance who got engaged a couple of weeks ago. So I've had a really nice week and yesterday I just relaxed all day and I did a load of scrapbooking. So I will show you that now so quickly. It is still quite early in the morning. So I'm sorry that the light's a bit yellowy in here. Um, 
but this is the album that I'm using for 2019 and yesterday I decided to just sit down and try and get as much of this album done as possible. So I haven't done my title page yet, I need to order some photos for my title page. Um, but I did crack on and basically scrapbooked every page that I had photos for. So this is January. We've got a four page photo there and another four page photo there. And then this little insert is February. So I've got the UK Planner Addicts Big Meat, some more pictures from that there, and then Will's Bungee Jump. Um, and then technically a couple of these photos are still from February, uh, but I just popped them on the March page because I didn't really have any photos for March either. Um, you guys, if you watch my weekly vlogs, you'll know that I was really poorly at the beginning of this year, which is why it's only a couple of pages. But being totally honest, all of the months of this year are quite brief because I I knew I was so behind and I just wanted to simplify my scrapbooking. So, yeah. And then we go into April, which actually has two pages. So you can see I've kept it really simple. I really limited my supplies. I just gave myself like a pile of stickers, um, a couple of die cuts and my tray of wood veneer. And that was basically like all I used. Um, and it felt really good to get rid of some supplies that I've had for a really long time and get all of these memories scrapbooked. So this is a whole page for Easter because we always do something fun at Easter with Will's family. Then I've just got one little page for May and nearly all of the photos are from Daisy's birthday. But I've got one little collage there of um, the progress of our bathroom renovation because we had that done in May. But I just used up so much stuff and I think I spoke about this in a Patreon video recently but um, I used the same paper in a lot of the spreads. So like across this whole spread this is all the same backing paper but because it was all different colours and like a watercolour effect you can't really tell that much. But it just means that the whole spread looks cohesive and it took me hardly any time to put it together. So that's May and then this is June. And I've put more journaling in than I did in last year's pages as well. And I'm really happy about that. So yeah, that's June. And I'd also like to point out that I'm much less fussy about where my photos go as well this year. So because I printed out like nine months of photos at once and I only printed out like my favourite photos, um, it meant that it was a bit difficult to put these pages together. And again, I th think I maybe did that on Patreon. Um but I had to just put the photos where they fit. So like this is the 9th of June. This is right at the beginning of June, I think. This is the 15th and this is the 23rd. So they're not chronological at all. It's just this is everything that happened in June. Um, and I, I'm quite happy with it, to be honest. Whereas previously I would have been so annoyed that they weren't in the right order. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's June. Then we go into July, which also has two pages so far. Although technically these two photos here are actually from June. They were from the last day of June when I went on a little solo day to London. But this was our youngest nephew's christening. So all of these photos are from that. And I've done a lot of collages throughout this album to try and fit in more photos without taking up too much space. So that's got four photos there. And then this is July as well. So I documented how much Archie missed Will while he was away in Norway because Will went to Norway with one of his friends and um, Archie like waited by the door for him every afternoon at the time that he would have normally been coming home from work and it was so sad uh, so I had to document that um, and just some progress in the house and again these photos are totally out of order so this is from the 29th of July and this is from the 28th of July um, and I actually went to Disneyland in between all of this and this happening. But I wanted to have all my Disney photos together and I didn't want to have these two random photos on the end. So I decided to just throw all of that into a spread for July. And then this double page spread will be um, for Disneyland. And these photos here are stuck on the back of these ones. And I'm going to get some tabs just to show that you can pull those photos out and there's more on the back. Um, but yeah, so this whole spread's going to be Disneyland Paris, the trip I took with my mum. And I need to get those photos printed. Then we go into August. 
And August has a couple of pages because we went camping. So again, these photos are totally out of order. I actually think this photo is from July, but I wanted to include it, so I just popped it in here. And again, I've used the same backing paper behind all of these photos just to make it easier. I think that's something I'm definitely going to do more of, honestly. So this is camping. Again, I've got a collage there. And all of these collages here just to include more photos. So that's quite a photo heavy layout, but I wanted all the pictures in there. So this is um, a photo from camping. And then on the back, I've got the photo that I took when we got engaged. And I'm thinking of making these two photos 12 by 12 size instead, just to sort of like um, create a barrier. So that's camping. This is my birthday and us getting engaged. So I might order those in 12 by 12. I'm not sure. Um, but then this is my birthday and engagement page. I loved these cards and I just thought when you're getting married, that's like the perfect sentiment. So had to include those. It's like not a particularly nice page in terms of, you know, being aesthetically pleasing, but it is one of my favourite pages in the album because obviously it documents us getting engaged. And then this is the last spread that I've done, which is September. And that's a double page spread documenting just the start of wedding planning and a few bits around the house. Handing in my dissertation. Finding our dream wedding venue and then finding out how much they charge for food. I put sigh. <laughs> but then we found another beautiful venue and we booked our wedding. So I've documented that as well. And then the next page goes into October. Again, that's not my wedding dress. It's just one that I tried on. We just like to take pictures so I can document things. Um, but it goes into October. So that next spread will be October. And then um, I've got a few bits of ephemera already waiting for November. So... That is everything that I did yesterday. I'm so pleased. Yeah, again, excuse the state of me. I've literally just rolled out of bed and got a cup of tea. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm really pleased with everything I got done yesterday. I think it's turning out really nice, actually. It's like one of the first albums that I've genuinely liked in quite a long time. So I'm really pleased with it. Um, and I think today I'm going to order some more photos. So from my trip to Disneyland and our trip to New York and everything. And try and get some more of it done when those photos arrive in time for December daily um, but that's all I really wanted to say today I want to get this video edited and uploaded today so I hope you enjoyed I'm sorry if it was a bit of a rubbish one um but we're heading into Christmas very soon and next weekend I will be decorating for Christmas so I hope you will enjoy seeing that um but yeah if you have any questions as always let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you if not I will see you in my next video bye everyone